Also this evening, it's been almost two weeks since a dog mauled a Burke County veterinarian, Dr. Emily Martin, still on the long road to recovery. Tonight, we're hearing from one of her co-workers who was there when that dog attacked her and watched it all unfold. Sydney Hood live in our newsroom. And Sydney, what does she remember about that life-changing day? Richard, every single detail of that day she remembers. She says she's used to having dogs not maul, but bite out of fear. That's just natural of them, and that's to be expected with this job they're in. But they've never had anything like this happen before. I couldn't help her. I didn't know how to help her. <laughs> and it was just, it was attacking her with everything he had. She watched it all happen. It, gra it turned and grabbed her pulled her to the ground and drug her all the way over here for seven feet and then started mauling her. And I'm talking, he didn't bite her. He mauled her. He attacked her multiple areas. Her arms, her legs all have scars she can never get rid of. And I pulled him off of her and he turned and looked at me. So I jumped up on this picnic table and he just starts walking as calmly as he can. Not barking, not growling. And he's just daring anyone to come down. Just quiet. You can hear it for yourself. The oh. dog? Dozier. Is under Burke County's watch. I know, you're sad. The doctor can't do her job right now. All she cared about was her patients at that time and making sure that in the future, anybody that was ever in pain because she knew how much pain she was in that no animal of hers will ever be in pain. Because that's just the kind of doctor she is and she is lucky to be alive. She'd be dead. I think about it all the time. I've thought about that I, more than I've thought about anything. The dog is finished with his 10 day quarantine in Burke County. That's where he'll stay until they decide what's next. We'll let you know whenever we hear something. And Cindy, how is Dr. Martin doing now? She actually went back to work today. She's very limited as far as movement. She's only allowed to wiggle her fingers. I actually just got off the phone with her. She told me this is all one step forward in the right direction to getting back what she loves the most. She survived a horrific attack and we're glad she is on the road to recovery. And thanks for sharing that story with us to give us an idea of what happened out there that day.